Hello everyone, it's Dave Dan here. Today I'm going to show you how you can add tooltips to your pricing widget and they'll be mobile responsive. So let's get started. So over here on our Elementor edit screen, we have our pricing table. The next step we're going to do is add the icon. So to do that, you can either use an SVG icon from your library or in my case, I'm just going to use the Font Awesome library. So let's go to Font Awesome. And then we'll search for the icon we want. Just click on it to copy. We'll go back to our edit screen and within some span tags, which will be necessary for later, we'll add in the icon. Now that we've inserted our icon, the next step is to configure the tooltip. There are lots of methods we can use, including using CSS, but in this case, we're going to be using a JS library called TPJS. To get that configured, first, we have to go to the website. Then head over to getting started. Then we're going to copy the script. In Elementor, if you have Elementor Pro, you can always use the Elementor custom code on the dashboard. But here, we're just going to add a new HTML widget into a blank section. And then we're going to paste the code in there. Now we have our scripts in there. The next step is to add the function that's going to run. And the function is also on the website. If you go scroll it down, you can see it. It's there under usage. All we have to do is call the function tp, add in the class name, and then add in our content. That's the basic method we're going to use. And we're going to enclose it in the script tag as well. So copy. Create our script. And then paste the code in there. Yeah, and that's the basic step. So now it says my button as the CSS ID. So we have to include this CSS ID into where we want it to run. So rather than using my button, let's, let's change it to something else. Probably a class name called, let's see. Since we want it on the premium support, so we can just use premium support as the class name to make it easy to remember. Then we'll type something like maybe my first tooltip. So now that we have this inserted, next, we're just going to have to add the class name to where we want it. So come over to the features, the premium support, where we have the icon. Under the span, just put in the class name, class equal to DD. Yeah, and that's it. You can save it. And one final step is to add an event listener to the function so that to ensure that it loads at the right time. So come over to the script and just paste this document add event listener and ensure all the brackets are closed. And then we can save and preview on the front end. And as you can see, my first tooltip, it works. There are other things you can do, which you can just check out the website. There are lots of things you can do, customizations, so, and other animations, and so many other things which you can check out. So, and that's it. I hope you like the video. So like, share, and follow, and I'll see you in the next one.